Well, I've been out on my morning walk and I thought, hey, I need to stop and stretch and I found these nice benches. Oh yeah. And I thought, you know, I should hop on here real quick and just talk about sleep. I don't speak much about sleep because I haven't done much of it. For my whole life, it's been something I've been known for, the guy that doesn't sleep. <laughs> and I don't know if you have a definable trait about yourself that others know about you and that you've bought into as your thing. and. And then all of a sudden you start to realize maybe it's not a good thing to be known for. But I mean, I've been able to get more done in the hours when no one is awake than, I mean, I, I read about Leonardo da Vinci, that he used to troll the streets at night looking for uh, inspiration and so forth. And that's where I've created most of my material as a as a guy in doing comedy and music and ideas and so forth is in the middle of the night. And as I've gotten to the age I'm at now, I, I started to read more of the benefits of sleep. And I know when I was a kid, my parents would be like, will you please go to sleep? And I was like, no, I can't sleep. Because I just could never sleep. And, uh, you know, going on four or five hours a night for most of your life is kind of not good for you. So uh, I'm just talking today just briefly about sleep and my new commitment to it, to the practice of it. And maybe it'll inspire you whether sleep is a challenge for you or just uh, other character defining traits that maybe you need to change and shift or even think about doing. Uh, it was a couple of months ago, I was listening to some podcasts, reading some books, things that started to get me thinking about it as well as m my body obviously didn't feel as great as it could have. And uh, you know, in the midst of the pandemic and all of that, there was a opportunity to just work 24 7 and that was easy for me so that's why I got going on the virtual events and all those things so fast is because I just didn't need time to sleep and then it eventually catches up to you you know and so I I was reading about the benefits of it and I decided you know I think I want to be a person that actually sleeps and I'd like to learn how to do that and uh, through the years, I've gone to doctors and others that have said, hey, maybe you need this prescription or that, and I don't want to do that. I've tried some natural remedies and so forth, and and really I just found it came down to a couple of simple things that may just seem so basic and silly, but the first one was to acknowledge that this is a trait I want to change. I wanted to make a new commitment to myself to just get some rest, to try to sleep, to go to bed early. Usually I'd get my second wind about 11 p.m. and I could plow through till 4 a.m. without a problem and then be up again at 7 or 8. And so I thought, you know, I'd like to get to the point where I'm in bed by 10, 10.30 and actually waking up naturally around 6 if that's even possible. So I started to, you know, try and lay down at 10 o'clock. Now for me that's ridiculous because like I say, I would usually just start getting going at 11 p.m. So laying down at 10 was odd, not just for me, but for my family as well. And they were like, what are you doing, Dad? Because <laughs> they are used to just going to bed and me never going to bed. And uh, maybe you're listening to this like, this is so disturbing, but yeah, this is a real story. <laughs> and uh, so I just would lay down at 10 o'clock. And I found that if I did a couple of things specifically, it really helped a ton. For example, yeah, we talk about not having our phones next to us when we sleep. I still feel I need the security of it for the alarm system um, of our house, for you know emergencies and so forth. So I just turned on the do not disturb button. That helped me to not be jumping up if there was a text or a call that came through. I do not have emails set to anything but manual, so I have to go in and grab them. They don't send me notifications. I take, I, I think I've talked quite extensively about taking social media off of your phone and using it only exclusively on your desktop for when you absolutely need to use it. And if I have a book launch or some big thing where I'm going to do Facebook Live and stuff like that, then I'll load it on my phone, do what I have to do, and then unload it right away. It's worked for me, but just taking that step of committing to not having the apps of social media on my phone has helped a ton, and especially in this effort to try to sleep. And uh, and then of course, you know, not scrolling at night, not laying there and looking at the phone. And when uh, when I also decided I'm not going to lay there and watch Netflix and 
you know, I watched Tiger King and I was like, okay, well, if that's what I'm spending my time doing, then I should just be done with life itself. <laughs> no, uh, what a what a ridiculous documentary, but very entertaining. And so I thought, you know, after I watched that, I was like, I think I've had enough. And uh, so laying in bed, turning on the TV, that sort of thing, that's not a thing anymore. And I've been doing this now for two months where I lay down, I just open a book and uh, I take something called melatonin which has helped me a lot uh, and uh, that that's actually helped me for the last decade or so just to get to sleep in the middle of the night now it's helping me when I lay down I take the melatonin I'm reading and I say I'm only gonna read a few pages until I start to feel any kind of sleepiness and then it becomes like a meditation put the book down lights off just lay there and I'm telling you this is the weirdest thing to me because I've never been able to sleep I've never been able to just go to bed, uh, but it's finally started to happen. I mean, the first few nights I laid there till midnight, 12, 30, 1, 2, whatever. And then I finally started falling asleep around 11, even 10, 30 a couple of times. And I was hoping, you know, I'd just be like, like the guys you read about in the books and here in the podcast that are like, dude, I wake up at 4 a.m. and I go for a jog up a mountain and then I do squats and I do yoga and I do an ice bath and I walk my dog and then I write a book, you know, and I'm like, man, who are these people? And so I'm not that people. I, uh, I would wake up, if I went to bed at 10.30 or fell asleep at 10.30, I could wake up by... 7:30. Like that's how that's how jacked up my metabolism and my sleep cycle and my whole body seemed to be. It needed this recovery. And one one night I fell asleep finally at 11 and I woke up naturally at 8:30. I was like, "My gosh, I am I am so just destroyed with this habit pattern that I've had for my whole life." And now I've been doing this for 2 months. And uh, even last night laid down at 10.30. I was out by 10.45. I woke up at 4.57. <laughs> Wide awake. Yesterday I woke up at 4 o'clock. I don't know why. I guess I was done sleeping. I woke up at 5 the day before. This is without an alarm even though I still set it just in case. And my life has changed. Like, it's unbelievable. When we make a promise to ourselves and we put it into action, we go for it, amazing things happen. And even though I've set goals my whole life to be better at this and to try, and I have tried, it wasn't strong enough as a promise. And I, I know I harp on this concept, but I'm just saying, when we make a promise to ourselves that we want to change something, when we put into practice just a couple of simple things like deleting the social media off our phone or not looking at it at night or uh, not having it be the very first thing that we do every day or whatever our, whatever our thing is that we want to change, that character trait, that commitment we want to make to ourselves. It, it is the promise to the one. And it's a promise that's changed my life. So that's why I want to sit down here and share this with you because now I'm going out and I'm walking in the morning <clears throat> and I'm working out and I feel better about myself and I feel, I feel just energized and I don't need supplements to keep my day going like I, I did, and maybe I'll share more about that later, but um, I, I'm grateful for what the promises helped me do, and I'd love for it to help you as well. And so I'll be sharing some more videos like this where I share things that I've kind of, I guess, life hacks that have helped me, especially at this time, but sleep is a big one for me. I hope it is for you. It's been one of the best things I've ever done for my health, for my well-being, for my happiness and for my peace, my spirit. And uh, I guess that's just the promise. I hope you have a great day.